Test, one, two. Is this thing on? On in three, two. What's up, Eagle Nation? Happy Friday. It's officially four days until Valentine's Day. Yay. Do you have anyone to celebrate this year? No. You'll get there. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Then what are you? Uh, vaguely annoyed. Speaking of annoying, it's so annoying that we have to come back to school after the ice break. Don't you mean it's snow annoying? <laughs> I don't get it. It's a pun because it snowed. Oh! I still don't get it. You know what? Let's just get to devotion while I explain puns to Allie. Hey, I'm Brody. And hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to this week's devotion. This week's question is, which book of the Bible are we not 100% sure who wrote it? I don't know. Maybe the book of Genesis? No. Revelation? No. But maybe the HJ students will know. So, I'm here with... Callahan. And... Isaiah. And so the question is, which book of the Bible are we not 100% sure who wrote it? Hebrews. James. Isaiah was correct. It is the book of Hebrews. Hello, I am with... Claire. Summer. And today's question is, which book of the Bible are we not 100% sure who wrote it? Uh, I think it's Hebrews. Hebrews. It is the book of Hebrews. Wow, that was really fun seeing what the HJ students said. But... It was the book of Hebrews. I did not know that. But what is the book of Hebrews about? Well, the book of Hebrews is written about AD 60 and 70 and was written to the Hebrew Christians to encourage them in a time of trial. It also talks about Christ being our high priest and sacrificial lamb. And this book talks about how we should imitate the example of Christ, which still applies today. Well, it is great how we get to dig deeper into another great book that has things that still apply today. And I am kind of missing our old format, so next week of devotions, we'll be back to normal. And with that, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. So that you may overflow by the power of the Holy Spirit and have a great week. Hey guys, welcome back to No One Knows, the show where no one knows, and you don't know what segment we're doing today. Today's segment is not about condiments. Frogster88 commented to do a segment about what different things are called. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Today... We're going to settle the worldwide debate, data or data. Obviously, it's data because data is British. And if you didn't know, I'm not British. Let's see what the HCA people have to say about it. Data. 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 Wow, very interesting. Guys, today's segment was a lot of fun, but this segment is getting close to being done. Oh, I'm a poet. So guys, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Now do you get it? No way. That is snowedly funny. I didn't get it at first, but now I see. Get it? Yes, I get it. I'm starting to get this whole pun thing now, and the pun life is a winterful one. Maybe you're getting it a little too much. Wow, thanks, Austin. That means a lot. I didn't mean that as a compliment. Then what did you mean it as? You figured out puns. Go on, figure this one out. What if I don't wanna? Then I guess you'll question this for the rest of your life. You know, this is why you don't have anyone to spend Valentine's Day with. Oh no, I'm so sad. You should be. Now, while Austin mourns his loneliness, let's go into Weird But True. Hello everybody and welcome back to Weird But True. This week's interesting factoid has to do with pigeons. They did know that from 1917 to 1943 and 1946 to 1957, there was such thing as the U.S. Army Pigeon Training Center. It is very true. It was based in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, and served as training for messenger pigeons. But sadly, it was shut down in 1957 because of new messaging technology. The wacky word for this week is ornithophobia. Ornithophobia is the extreme fear of birds. You see, birds can be scary sometimes. Like if a duck is running at me, I'm going to run away from it, of course. But it's not an overwhelming fear, you know? Well, those are some weird facts, but I'll be back next time with some more. And in the meantime, don't forget to always stay weird. 
Hey everyone, I'm glad we're back, and I'm glad to be back here and out of the freezing cold. Over the next couple weeks, we will be digging into Black History Month. Black History Month is celebrated to focus the attention on the contributions of African Americans to the United States, honoring all African American people from all periods of U.S. history. But now we stand here in America and believing that everyone of every color has their God-given rights and that we're all equal. While the past is sad, it's still a part of our history. And now we should look at everyone the same and believe that, believe that we're all equal because we're all God's children. That's all I have for this week, and I'll see you next time. Have you properly mourned? Hang on real quick. OK, I'm good. Notice how short it was? Joke's on you. I don't notice anything. That tracks. What does track have to do with anything? OMG, OMG, sports. Are you afraid of sports or something? Maybe a little, but you know who's not? Robbie. Robbie! Do your best Robbie impression. Um, hey guys, welcome back to high school sports. <gasps> I wanna go, I wanna go. I'm Robert McCaslin Hunter. Slight smile. Well, let's see how accurate your Robbie was. Take it away, Robbie. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Robbie back with High School Sports. This week we are heading into spring sports as basketball has ended. On Friday, February 3rd, all three basketball teams played at home against Longview Christian. The JV and the girls did come up short, but both played very close games. Varsity won their game on senior night 52-47, and congratulations to seniors Cole Brower and Ethan Emerson for their spectacular careers at HCA. And here are some highlights from the seniors. On Monday, February 7th, all teams played their last games this season at Poetry. The three teams played hard to the end, but all came out just short of a victory. But here are some of the highlights from the game. That's all for this week. Now on to Cami with Middle School Sports. Thank you, Robbie, and hello, everyone, and welcome back to Middle School Sports. During a little ice storm fiasco, all games for the girls team and the boys A and B team were canceled, as well as the girls, boys, and AB team tournaments against Greenville. On Monday, the girls and boys team had their Taps District Tournament. The boys lost their first game, which ended their season, and the girls won on Monday against Cornerstone Christian. Then, against Lake Hill Prep, Addison Barons made a free throw and tied up the game. Here's a clip of that. <laughs> they placed third place in the tournament, and with that, the basketball season has concluded. I wanted to congratulate all the basketball teams. You all did amazing this year, and I can't wait to see you back in action next year. With basketball now over, we shift into the spring sports, golf, track, and field. I will definitely keep you guys posted with further updates. That's all I have for this week, and let's go Eagles. Welcome back to Fun Fact Friday. The weather forecast for next week is looking cloudy and wet. Most of the week will be partly cloudy, while Monday and Tuesday will have rain showers. The week will have lows in the 30s and 40s and highs in the 50s and 60s. Speaking of cloudy, clouds can actually be green. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Thanks for watching Fun Back Friday. See y'all next week. Hey there. Welcome back to Dad Jokes. I'm Dad and... I'm not Dad. She's not Dad. This is Summer. Summer's in her third year of broadcast. We're excited that you're here this week and quit peeking at my jokes, girl. Did you bring good ones? I think I did. You gonna make me laugh? Um, I mean, I was laughing while I wrote them down, so... Oh, okay, well, let's see. Go. All right. How can you tell that a tree is a dogwood tree? Because no cats will hang around the dogwood tree? I don't know. <laughs> By the bark. Get it? Dogs bark, bark on a tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that. So, um, you know, for like two seasons, you did like the, the summer states, right? Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going international. So what is the, what is the very best thing about Switzerland? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either, but the, the flag is a plus. You have to pick plus. We could insert graphic here that shows the flag. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a big plus. Get me out of this okay. one. Go. Okay. Going off of how I used to be on summer states. Yes. I had to give a state joke. Good. Okay. Which state has the most streets? 
Well, the obvious answer is something like California or, you know, where there's lots of roads and population, but Texas? I don't know. No, it's Rhode Island. Rhode, like as in R-O-A-D, island. Yep. I also think it's interesting that Rhode Island is not even an island, but yet we call it Rhode Island. That was pretty good. Not quite as good as the dog barking joke, but yeah. we'll go. So, do you know why hummingbirds hum? Uh, no. Because they don't know the words. They don't know the words, so they just why. have to hum. Okay, I thought that was pretty funny, but clearly nobody know. else in the studio <laughs> thinks it's very funny. All right. Okay. One more, right? Yes, one okay. more. Okay. Okay. Why did the coach go to the bank? Why did the coach go to the bank? Um, I, I don't, something playbook, play money, money, bank, safety, I don't know. Get us quarterback. All I could think of was Nickelback, but that's a band, <laughs> not a play. Quarterback. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'm going to take us out with this one. Better be good. Well, I can't make that promise, but we'll give it a shot. Um, why, um, why couldn't a bicycle stand up? I don't know, something about tires, maybe? <laughs> yes, because it's too tired. See, there's two tires on. Yes. Okay, well, I apologize. I don't know that beyond our bark joke, this was a great week for dad jokes, but we're glad you were with us, and we will see you guys next time. Summer, thank you very much. All right. Bye. All right. I'd say it was pretty accurate. It was. Good job. And you know, with that compliment, this is the friendliest I've been to you in any episode. Yeah, because I'm snow amazing. And there it goes. There what goes? Where? The cookie. The cookie went. Did it cross the road with the chicken? I think your brain got eaten by the chicken. I hope it tasted like glitter. So like plastic dust. No, like magic. It's truly magic that I'm still here. Why? Where are you going? Away from you. Can I come? Guys, he's gonna go and I have to catch up. If you like this episode, like, subscribe, and follow the gram. See ya! Bye bye now! From the game, bro. I was so close.